What's up sneaker fans, thanks for tuning in to a more than hype review and in this video we have arguably one of the best colorways from Jordan Brand in 2022 and they are the Air Jordan 1 in their taxi colorway. And that is just Jordan Brand doing what Jordan Brand does best and that's pulling from their heritage, from their past and creating something new. So. The better known taxi colorway is on the Air Jordan 12 taxi and on the carbon fiber shank on that shoe we have this taxi yellow color and they've just taken that whole idea and applied it to the Air Jordan 1 and I think it came out great. So with all that said let's get right into the review starting with the packaging and for a special release you're going to get some special packaging so that's exactly what we have here. So a little bit of a fun take on the usual box we get which is this right here. So black and red versus for the taxi colorway, we're getting that taxi yellow color and then black Nike logos all over. So we got some here. They're just peppered over the box. And then we have our label on this side here. Official name of these, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Official colors, taxi, black, and sail. Far as sizing goes, I got my true size. That's an eight and a half in these, and I like the fit. For your reference, I also wear eight and a half in Air Maxes. In Air Force Ones, I wear a size eight. And this is, of course, men's sizing. I believe there is also a separate women's release for this colorway, but if you're looking to get the men's, because it does feel like women's and just GS pairs are a little bit lower quality than men's, the size conversion is always 1.5 sizes up. So this eight and a half in men's would be a size 10 in women's. Retail price of these was $180, and that about does it for the label. So now, let's take a look at the shoes. So just like a regular uh, high OG box, you can just take this top right off. We have swoosh, our logo, our stamp. And then let's take a look at the shoes. And man, <laughs> these are really nice. First of all, fire colorway. I love this shade of yellow, which is really like an orange yellow. Really, really nice. And the quality also just from like the first look, pretty damn good. So let's get both pairs out and take a closer look. Now we got these out of the box, let's take a closer look starting with the upper. And like I was saying, the quality of these are very, very nice as they should be for that retail price of $180. And luckily it is, as you can see, very plush leather throughout the upper here. So let's start with the overlays. So we have our swoosh in this smooth black leather. We have some more black leather going down the eyelets around our toe box. Looking at the medial side now, some more of that black leather all the way to our uh, heel collar here. All very nice. Usually Nike, if they're gonna cheap out somewhere, especially on Jordan 1s, it's gonna be on this like black leather here, but they did not do that in this case, which is a very good sign for the rest of the shoe. Taking a closer look at the quarter panel, you can see that grain of the leather here, and I'm not even stressing it at all. Looking very nice, and it's soft to the touch as well. And then kind of the star of the show is this taxi colored leather in the toe box. Really digging this shade of like yellow orange on the heel as well as the toe box. Very, very nice. And there's a closer look at that Winx logo in that glossy black. Looking very clean. The tongue, of course, all black in that synthetic. They are unlaced, which I have mixed feelings about. I get the history behind it, but it also is pretty annoying that I have to lace my own shoes. And with these, I don't think you get an extra set of taxi colored lace. Yeah, no. So no extra set of laces with these. So that makes it even more annoying that these are unlaced. But, you know, it is what it is. Taking a look at that top tag here. Nike Air logo, and then our standard licensing on the back of it. The foam on the inside, luckily it's black. All right, looking on the inside now, lining is in a black colored fabric, and then our sock liner. This is also an interesting point. I realized that the uh, Heritage colorway came with this same sort of insole. I thought it was polyurethane at first, but it looks like it's actually a proprietary material called Dream Cell. And this stuff is really soft. I'm really liking the feeling of these. And just from this insole here, this makes these one of the most comfortable Air Jordan ones I've worn in a long time. That about does it for the upper. Now moving on to the midsole outsole. So we have our sail colored midsole here, matching color stitching all around the shoe. And then we have our outsole here in that taxi yellow, which I think looks awesome. 
I wish I had a pair of shattered backboards to compare the shade of yellow going on here, but I do have the low pair of orange ones, so there's your comparison. Really, much more orange than yellow in my opinion, but overall, now that I had some time to really take a look at these, try them on, this is definitely one of the best releases from Jordan Brand in 2022. I mean, the classic color blocking, this shade of yellow, the materials, how they're put together, the updated insole, everything about these, I don't think I would change anything, honestly. And that is, you know, saying a lot, especially from Jordan Brand, because I know that they want to cheap out, but they didn't in this case. So these are coming out on September 24th, I believe, on the Sneakers app, as well as other retailers. I'll leave some links in the description below. This is a pair that, in my opinion, definitely worth doubling up on. I think that's exactly what I'm going to try to do when these release. And um, that's about it for these. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot with the algorithm. And I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you on the next video.